Hey guys, this is our monthly installment of our 111 kind of encouragement uh, for those of you who have committed to praying for one person for one minute at one o'clock each day. On Easter, we had dozens and dozens of 111 folks that were there. And uh, I was just so encouraged by our Easter celebration and to see how uh, many people had prayed for someone. And then as the invite came for Easter, they actually showed up. And uh, I just wanted to share with you a story uh, today about how your prayers never fall on deaf ears. When Jennifer and I uh, first started uh, the JAR and we were living in a different home than we are now, um, we began a process, uh, it wasn't 111, but it was called a Lighthouse of Prayer. And basically what you would do is you would pray for the five houses that were in front of you on the other side of the street, and then you would pray for the two houses on each side of you. Um, so all together, including your house, there would be ten houses that you would uh, be praying for. And there was one house that was on the other side of the street, down the road a little bit, who uh, we started uh, praying for, and uh, her name was Betty. And we prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and uh, never kind of got connected. Now, there were about three other families that were in this house of 10 that did. But uh, Betty just never did. Had great conversations, uh, took down popcorn, uh, invited them to Easter and different things, but um, just never got the connection. Well, eventually we left that neighborhood and we moved to a house uh, that uh, we live in now. And really, I stopped kind of praying for that neighborhood because no longer was that really where we were living. Now we pray for our uh, other neighbors. But uh, what was really strange was I bet we had prayed for about, oh, five or six years for Betty and her family. And uh, lost contact, moved away. And then this Easter, guess who shows up? Betty. Just out of the blue, she and her daughter uh, came to church. And uh, then this last Sunday, uh, she was there again. And I just think that if we wouldn't have prayed, you know, maybe uh, eight years ago for her, that that door may have never opened. You see, folks, keep praying for your person. If they came on Easter, I celebrate you with you. Great way to go. Uh, keep praying for them. But if your person didn't come, this is your reminder to persevere in prayer because eventually God will reap the harvest. So have a good one, and uh, we'll see you uh, next month.